you're going to do some drills this afternoon. It's called Hair and Scope. It's a really fun drill. And what we're trying to do is simulate you having a shot at your mule deer after waiting seven days in this one canyon. And all of a sudden your guide says, oh my God, there's your 200 inch mule deer. And so there's some lessons to be learned in that because the first thing you're gonna do when you see that mule deer is you're just gonna throw all your principles right out the window. You're just gonna lose everything. Because why? Because you're excited. And if you're not excited, it's probably time to think about finding another sport. But you will be excited and you're gonna lose your marbles and you need to stay calm, cool, and collected. There's lots of lessons you're going to learn in this thing, but one of the main reasons we do this is to help you to stay calm, cool, and collected. Fight the urge to smash the trigger. Just remember, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. And in that, in that situation, time seems like it's flying by. It's really not. It actually slows down. So every move you make seems like it took 10 seconds. That's not true. So just slow down, start breathing, start talking about the principles, talk to yourself, even talk out loud. It's not weird. You can do that, but anything that'll help to keep you calm, cool, and collected. Too many people in the, in the heat of the battle are like center mass, boom, pull the trigger. That is not a killing shot. So you want to pick a hair, aim for that hair, one particular spot on the animal, but always think ahead, okay, where's this bullet going to go? Pretend you're shooting at a steel plate with hair on it. If you start thinking of this mentality, what if I wound this thing, what if I move, whoa, 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 stop, say a little prayer, close your eyes, don't shoot yet. Get your head right and stay calm, cool, and collected. People, in, especially when you're shooting an animal, they have a tendency to, I want the bullet to go right, bam, there. The minute you did that, you just bucked your shoulder because you, we're all wired hard. We cannot change this. If you smash your trigger, you bucked your shoulder. If you buck your shoulder, the problem is your gun's attached to your shoulder, and now you move that muzzle, maybe feet, sometimes, depending on how bad you do it. Now, a lot of hunts end positively on the very last hour of the very last day. That's just the way. If you keep working all the way through, again, you make your own luck.